Hey, hey, I finally figured out how to hook up my Nikon camera to this telescope and all the videos out there kind of go into too much detail in the wrong places. So I wanted to give you the short version of it. So a little bit of background. First, you've got a Nikon camera, let's say. I think this will work for Canon with uh, one small change. And this is a D7200, but it works with basically any F mount camera that Nikon makes. Pretty much their whole DSLR line, uh, full frame, half frame, DX, whatever you've got. If it has an F mount, which is basically the removable lenses, then this should work for you. So my wife has this Celestron, 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 I guess, telescope. Works great, you can look right through it. It has these 1.25 inch eyepieces that it comes with. So I wanted to find something that could basically take the camera and you go like that and then you're done. That was not as straightforward to figure out as I was thinking it would be. You need two things. This is the first thing you need. It's a Celestron or any brand really, T-Ring for Nikon cameras. If you look closely at it, what you'll see is that it has the same little mounts that lets you hook it onto your DSLR camera. And so you can do that and it'll click on just like putting on a lens, except you know it's not a lens, it's just a ring. Uh, it was about $13 on Amazon, not too bad. Uh, I've got some affiliate links below. I do get a little bit of referral bonus money, uh, but it doesn't raise your price at all to order through those links. Uh, you can look it up later. Uh, just go over to Amazon and search for Celestron T-Ring. That's the first thing you need. The next thing you need is a T-adapter. This one's made by Celestron, but Celestron, but it could be any brand. Uh, you know, the higher quality that you get for this, the better the results that you'll have. Read the reviews, check it out. This one was okay. So you need a T adapter. This one is actually a Barlow Plus T adapter, and I'll get into why that kind of makes a difference later. So what you do is you take your T ring and your T adapter which this sounds like an adapter because this is what adapts this thing to work on your camera, but this is just a T-ring and this is a T-adapter. That's the confusing part that I had figuring it out. Uh, but again, links below. So you take these two things, they've got some rings that help them hook together. And now this is starting to look like something that you can use. So then once you've got that together, you put it on your camera, just like you would a lens. They can be a little finicky, but as long as it feels like you got a good connection, now you've got this camera that there is no focus on this, so there is no way to use this as a lens like you would to take pictures. But if you put it in your telescope, look at that, then you can put it right where the eyepiece goes. To focus it, you use the same knob that you would use to focus for eyepieces that you have in there and then you can take your pictures. So that's all it is. Those two pieces connected to a Nikon lens will connect you to at least this type of telescope. This is a StarSense Explorer DX, but any telescope along that line. So I said there was a Barlow adapter and a T adapter in this little kind of eyepiece looking section here. So what does that mean? Well, in short, this is also a amplifier. So the Barlow adapter is basically a way to get a little bit more magnification by just taking the eyepieces that you normally use and putting them in there. What you'll see is that you can get an extra amplification by putting that Barlow adapter between the normal eyepiece and the telescope. So just to show that again. So with the Barlow lens, you get a 2x amplification with this one. They make Barlow lenses that are just amplifiers, just 2x, 3x, and then what you do is you just put them in between your eyepiece and your telescope, and now you get a little bit extra magnification. The higher quality Barlow lens you get, the better the view is going to be. 
So this is actually a 2X Barlow lens as well as a T adapter for taking astrophotography. So it's kind of nice because then you can use this just on its own as an amplifier. I didn't even have to take the T ring off for the camera and you can get a little extra amplification that way. Or while someone's looking through it, you can be hooking this up to your camera and taking pictures. So there you have it. A T ring and a T adapter connected to your Nikon F mount camera and you just replace the eyepiece and you're done. Real simple, real easy, just a little bit of confusion on what you call it and how many pieces you actually need. I like this one because of the Barlow lens. It gives a little extra amplification for just normal star viewing uh, or looking at planets or whatever you call it. But it also makes it really nice to hook up your camera real easy and then you can set it up and take photos however you'd like. That's a whole area, you can find lots of YouTube videos about that, but if you actually want to get the first step of hooking your camera up to the telescope with all the right adapters, I hope this video helped. Like and subscribe, turn off the bell so you don't get notified about it. Stay cool and have a good one.